Hey, how's it going? And today we are taking a quick introductory look at modules, what they are and how they can be used. And you're actually using them all the time already whenever you build a verse device. So I just have a basic template open right now and all I have in it is a verse device. And this is all in the code. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. We actually use modules every time we create a verse device and we access them by using these pathways, these path names. And so this allows us to access a library of methods and functions and data essentially that's within these pre-built libraries that we can then access and reference within our code. And we can use this in any verse device that we create in any project that we create. And all we have to do is do the using statement to access the module. And here, for instance, like we have this custom print function here and to access this named colors, we use this module here, the verse.org forward slash colors. So Epic Games defines a module as a verse module as an atomic unit of code that can be redistributed and dependent upon and can evolve over time without breaking dependencies. And what I take atomic unit of code to mean as that it can't be broken down any further than it is. But why would we use a module? Well, again, it's for reuse of code better controlling access to data and methods, organization, and ultimately reducing errors as well. So what I wanted to do in this tutorial was show how you can create your own module on a very basic level and two different ways you can access it. The first way is you can actually just create a module within your Verse device very similar to as if you were creating your own class. So you just have a the name of your module and then you can use this colon equals operator and then you type in the module with a colon and then whatever data or functions you want to put in your module you just go ahead and start putting it in now in this particular case all i'm doing is i'm putting in a custom print function that i could call so if this were to become like its own freestanding module in its own file i would just import it using this statement here and then I can just reuse it and reuse it in all my different projects and all I'd have to do is just bring it in using this but in this particular example I'm showing how you can create the module within the first device itself so it's almost similar to a class in that respect almost but we can't actually make copies of this instances of this like we can with the class it you can almost think of it as a module as a library so it can't really be instances of this really can't be created but we can access what's ever inside the module or the library and then down here to access the module we simply put down my module its name the dot operator and then whatever method that we're wanting to call the only thing to note is that my default modules are sent with an access specifier of internal so for us to be able to access anything inside of it we need to specify the access so here we'd have to put public down for me to be able to call to call it down here so if I go into Fortnite all this is going to do is print a string and so if I go start game you'll see that the string prints right up there in the upper left corner so this is one way to access a module so now I'd like to come back and show you a second way that you can access a module. So for the second example, what I'd like to do is just go into a blank template and show you how we can access a module that's in a separate file, but in the same project. So I'm just in a blank island template right here, and I'm just gonna go into the Verse Explorer, click on my project, it's called My Project F. I'm gonna right click and create a new Verse project. I'll just call this module device, and we'll go create. And it's going to come in right over here. And let's just double click into it. I already have the code written for this. And there's not much code to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in. And I have a reference to the print module. And we're getting an error because it doesn't exist yet. So what we have is our modules here. What's kind of different about this is that we just need the name of the module. It doesn't matter the folder name or the file name. It just matters the module name. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a module that has a custom print function. 
and then we can access this in any of our other verse projects, this module. And I'm just calling it the print module. But we're getting an error because I don't have the module built yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into the Unreal Editor and we're going to create that right now. I'm going to right click, add a new verse file, and I'll just call this, leave this called Hello World, just to show you it doesn't matter what the file name is, and I'm going to go create empty. And then this is going to come in as a, I'm getting an error because it doesn't like that I don't have that reference set up yet. So we're going to come in here, and this is a blank file, so I'm going to go ahead and paste in the code. And again, there's not much code here. What's unique about this is that if our module, so this is our module here, our print module, I call it print module, colon equals, and then the module, and here's my custom print function. This module can rely on other modules, but then I need to import that reference. So this custom print function relies on the named colors, so I have to import this into my module. So it's kind of interesting how modules can kind of daisy chain. So once this is created, you'll come back, we'll come back in here and you'll see there is no, there is no errors anymore. This is how we would reference the module. It doesn't matter, you'll see over here, it doesn't matter the name of the file, but as long as they're in the same project, you can reference it by just the name. Once we import the module, then we can reference it just by the name of the method or function itself. And that's all there is to it. So let me go ahead and build this and see if we get any errors. And we don't. Before I go to test this, I forgot to drag the first device into the scene. So I'll just save that. So we're back and let's see if this prints a string. That's all. It won't take very long to see this. Okay, and there it is. So anyway, this was just a quick intro into modules. I hope you found it helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.